Wow, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, this is the Apostolic Clinic, and we are looking on how to sustain your spirituality, especially during this time, whereby five counties are under lockdown, and not just about the lockdown. It's also, also the time we are living in. The Bible says that a time will come and the word of God will be right. There will be a famine of the word. Mm. And also David wrote and said, I've hidden your word, O God, in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Meaning that the culture of interacting with the word is not from pulpit to believer a believer should come uh, knowing the word and the pulpit should help expound the word you know apostle someone said there is nothing like a deep preacher you come with your own depth and then you interact from that level because a simple scripture can be amplified with a lot of depth depth and a very deep scripture can be very simple mm. uh, to you and the individual so we are discussing about uh, yeah. the culture uh, a friend of mine came to church without the Bible and he told me, Pastor Viden is word in my heart. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. we're looking at that, at that, at that culture. Yeah. And I think you've explained very well about uh, just understand. It's good to understand the basic story. Absolutely. Meaning that uh, if I'm a good student, I must be intentional mm. because I cannot study Genesis and study Ezekiel mm. and expect to understand the deliverance for Babylon. No, no, no. So, so, and I guess it's coming out very clearly uh, that th there is a systematic narration. Yeah. And uh, and if I pick your word, you know, from Genesis going all the way to uh, after the judges and all that, we are looking at one story that you can read. Yeah. which is a continuous flow of story. There's a very simple thing I'll add. Eh? Yes. Uh, to a young believer or just a believer or anybody on how to enjoy scripture. There are some, if you get these digital Bibles, um, you'll find it's what you call cross-reference. You look at the verse, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You may see a little A, or a little b on yeah. maybe love mm. uh, or a b on perish what you need to do is digitally and in your bible the old bibles um the the there was a way the concordances were done if it's love then you find all the verses on love so it's actually digitized mm -hmm. you can touch on that word love and it will give you maybe two other verses mm -hmm. so what one needs to do is go read those two other verses also they are in reaching and you can see they are saying the same thing mm. said by another person at a different time and so forth and that will enrich your reading to understand so if you are reading genesis and you come across this up and is speaking blah blah you may find probably a cross reference and you touch it and it leads you to other places and you can mm. read mm. so you find though you are reading genesis but you have also read a couple of other scattered verses that are highlighted in the other parts of the Bible mm. to give you the general overview. Okay. Of the so, so we encourage both reading and study. Reading and study. Whereby reading is general <laughs> page by page. Yeah. Study is you have the tools here. Absolutely. And you're ready. And you've mentioned the concordance. Yeah. Uh, an ordinary Kenyan. Doesn't know what that is. <laughs> where, where can they get it? Is it something you can download if you have a phone? Uh, yes, you can download. There, 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 there. There are several free, free softwares, and we can talk for them because we use them. Yes. The E sword is mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. E dash sword. sword. That one you can get. Mm -hmm. There's also another one called Olive Tree. Olive Tree. Olive Tree Bibles. Mm. You just need to register with your email, mm. and then you can download almost three, four Bibles mm -hmm. into your mm. into your computer, mm. into your phone, mm. and they are available. They are there through the Google mm -hmm. uh, apps, the Google Drives, Google Drives, and okay. so forth. Mm. They are available, mm. and they are easier to find. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have an Android phone, uh, you'll be good okay and uh, you can get very good study tools so these are the tools yeah. take advantage of them yeah. uh and, and we bless the lord for the time we are living in it's yeah. amazing uh, i i did uh, i saw a study that kenya has more than fifty five thousand. Uh, 55 million um, smartphones that means the number of smartphones is more oh, than more the population, than population. Oh, my so God. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells me with the with the with the new technology we can use it instead of just staying on facebook and doing all these things what about if you begin to read from the olive and look at the yeah. at the eastward and, and begin just mm -hmm. take a chapter mm -hmm. study it and all that mm -hmm. and we don't read the bible because we need to preach we no. read it because first of all we are sons uh, the bible says we hide god's word inside of us yeah. that we may not sin against god mm -hmm. the word is a sword it keep cutting things 
inside of us, shaping us and preparing us. The word is so sharp, it goes right deep mm -hmm. and it helps us. Mm -hmm. And of course, after reading, we always must emphasize, believe it mm -hmm. and practice it. Believe it and practice it. Absolutely. Amazing, amazing. You know, I, I think that part of believing is now where we are now. Yeah, believing. In this <laughs> pandemic, believing that uh, you have the health of Christ, Amen. you are living by divine health. Absolutely. Now, let's go to the second one. So we've, we've really expounded on the word and the power of the word. The other one the is... The discipline of the word. The other one is the discipline of prayer and prayer should not be complicated prayer should be just sitting down and talking to your father in heaven uh, the remember the lord's prayer which actually to me is a disciples prayer they told jesus teach us how to pray matthew chapter 6 and he told them pray this way say our father mm. who art in heaven uh, and so forth and so forth now that prayer uh, from verse 9 10 11 to 13 is a very simple template to help anyone to pray. And the other day we saw young people in the internet praying in Sheng. You remember? Yeah. Uh, I don't understand what they spoke. But <laughs> they were praying. And I don't mind it because no. you are speaking mm -hmm. your, or with your own language mm -hmm. to your own father. Mm -hmm. And that's important. As long as you have an attitude of humility, mm -hmm. uh, submission, and that you believe that the one you are talking to is listening mm -hmm. and is going to act on what you are praying and an attitude of honor absolutely mm -hmm. the other day i had a very interesting word from god uh, this early this week uh, and the word was that every phrase and every word counts in worship uh, so when you say you're coming to prayer and you're beginning to worship say god i thank you you know i i adore you god i appreciate you i'm grateful every word mm -hmm has impact to God. I was mm. so impressed by that wow. word so that I be careful with my words mm. as I worship. Mm. So the first thing in, with prayer is, is a mood and method in which we talk to God and it should not be complicated. Just make sure that you recognize him, you honor him, mm. uh, take a place where you're not distracted and you can quieten down your soul and your spirit, put the phones aside and everything. If you want, you can kneel before God. Uh, beside your bed or whatever or you can just sit comfortably and talk to god it's important to prepare yourself to do that and and a uh, long time ago as we were growing in the faith we heard very nice acronym on how to pray which were given you know the acts like the acts of the apostles a c uh, t s, t -S. Mm. Well, you begin with adoration a mm -hmm. just adoring god and telling him, you know, I admire you, I appreciate you, you are my God, you are my everything, you know, and so forth. And mm -hmm. it's important. Mm -hmm. And then number two, you confess. You're confessing what? You're confessing that he is God. You're confessing his word. You are saying, because to confess is to say the same thing as the mm -hmm. word says. Okay. You are in agreement. Where you find the Bible say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Mm -hmm. You're confessing that, saying, surely God, you are my shepherd. And in this time of uh, lockdown, I mm -hmm. shall not want. Mm -hmm. I know you will lead me you provide me mm. for me and so forth and so forth you're confessing at the same time confessing you're also saying lord i'm weak uh, but you are strong you know and if you find that you you're feeling you're not clean before god you've sinned against god you also take the time together with the confession to repent and say god i'm sorry for my sin i'm sorry for my this and that and don't play games just mm. be open be 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 very uh, direct and humble and talk to God and he is listening and he will forgive you and then believe it so confession and then there is thanksgiving tea mm -hmm. I mean many times in prayer don't just come uh, telling God all the wonderful things you want to tell him but mm -hmm. remember to thank God one time I had a, a revelation here in the city I saw in the spirit so many prayer requests going up to heaven requests and God was saying I want more worship than requests wow uh, that really shifted my attitude mm, mm. and so thanksgiving is important mm. uh you remember the old song you don't know when it started you know count your blessing one name by them one. By one by one <laughs> and so if you uh, take this column on the left mm. uh, write all the things you think god has not done mm. and then on this side on the right write the things you think god has done mm. you'll be surprised mm. to discover what he has done so much so thank him mm -hmm. thanksgiving is very powerful so we do we, I, I thought you meant threatening no, no, people no, no, who you. threaten God, they no, no. give God one week. <laughs> and they I say, give you one week, God. You Baba was in Pajuk and a panda. No, it's just thanksgiving. Yeah. And then supplication. Mm -hmm. Supplication is those 
uh, now your request, making mm. your requests, make them known to God. Mm. Lord, you know, uh, I've lost my job. Mm. I don't know what to do with my rent, mm. you know, food and so forth. Mm. My children, school fees, I ask you to provide. You know, uh, recently I found myself there. You know, one of my daughters is still in the university mm. and the fees at the university is something else. So there was a deadline recently and uh, we needed, I needed to clear this uh, fees. And so I discovered I, I really didn't have money. And uh, so um, I went to one of my accounts to check and I discovered I had withdrawn and I had, no, I had forgotten. So there was no money. <laughs> uh, so I, I told my daughter, I joke, I said, I think it's, I, I know you have never been suspended because of school fees. I would want to see how it looks like. I <laughs> said, oh, it was a joke. You said, no, daddy, don't <laughs> play those games. <laughs> so I discovered I needed to believe God for money so i made a simple prayer say lord give me money for school fees and you know uh then i asked when is this exam coming it's sometime in two weeks time so i knew okay i have two weeks to to wait upon god to receive but the following day it's something i did not expect somebody just said money to me and i was glad that i was able to do the necessary so supplication make your request known to god mm. the question is preacher you your prayers get answered within one day but my prayers, you <laughs> preachers, you are joking, don't get answered. Mm. Or oh, I prayed for years. Mm. That's another subject, another time. But there are ways, basic ways in which we can trust God mm -hmm. to answer our prayer. Mm -hmm. One is have the right attitude of humility. Uh, don't come to God with conditions. Okay. Don't come to God proud. Don't mm. come to God pushing him and giving him deadline. Mm. Just come knowing. I have nothing I can do. I fully trust in you. Secondly, other than humility, come in faith. Mm. I trust you. I know I've come to you because you are the source. I've come to you because you're the provider. And by the way, breathe in and out and take time, sit down and meditate that actually is your provider. And you'll be surprised that it will shock you mm. that you are concluding is your provider because you have several plans mm. and the alternatives mm. but when you just settle down your mind that god is provider and by faith now open your mouth and tell him i need this mm. and believe it number three mm. believe what you are praying god if you find there are barriers sometimes something drops into your mind oh god is not gonna hear you because you're not clean mm. uh, you're not good uh, you disobeyed him last time if those things jump up pause and deal with them say lord i'm sorry you know and make things right with god uh, remove those barriers in your mind. Silence the enemy. Tell him you can't speak to me um, before God, you know, and quieten down your soul and so forth. And concentrate and talk to your father. And then believe that you have asked him. And then after that, begin to thank him. You know, thank him that uh, he's heard you. Thank him you trust him and so forth. And then if he asks you to do anything, be willing to do it so that you don't just be coming to God to ask for things. And him, when he is sending you, you can't go. That relationship, how is it going? <laughs> so, so these are the basic. I, lo I love the acts. Yeah. I love the acts. Adoration. Adoration. Confession. confession thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And, and, supplication. and supplication. That's amazing because yeah. it just helps. It's just um, a simple way to help. A simple One way to help. The other thing is, Jesus said, uh, would you not tarry with me for an hour? Would you not pray with me for an hour? That's very amazing because prayer also has an element of time. Don't just pray five minutes, mm. just two, three minutes and you're done. No, give it time because time also shows that you're not in a hurry. And since you went into your prayer room, you are still there. Mm. Even God can see that you're committed to what you're doing. And one hour is good. Two hours is, is you are doing well. Three hours, four hours, you know. Spend a whole day in the presence of God. Reading the Bible, praying, worshiping, singing, reading again, praying, staying in the presence of God and mixing up that moment of just resting in his presence. And then make it a display. If you do it 21 days, they say, if you keep doing this at a specific time, then even your body, your mind and everything will mm -hmm. pick it up. It will become a display. Mm -hmm. That prayer is important. So time element is important okay. even as you do the prayer. Are, are there hours, uh, someone said when you pray midnight going forward, that time the, 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 the lines in heaven are not busy, <laughs> it's express. 
<laughs> are there specific hours whereby you can say uh, i like kenyan preachers <laughs> kenyan preachers can tell you stuff my friend <laughs> i know the bible talks about watches you know the third watch and yeah, so and yeah. the watches mm. uh, the the hebraic time the day begins at six mm. you know to uh 6 p.m the day begins so the night you're talking about six to nine three hours mm, mm. nine to 12 12, 12, 12 to 3 a.m 3 a.m to 6 a.m mm. well four watches on the fourth watch and so forth yeah that's true uh that's a language of spiritual warfare okay so this is in other words somebody sensory. gets needs to understand that as when you're praying when you are praying the enemy and the spirits and powers that be in the air do not want you to pray mm -hmm. That means as you're pursuing that basic simple prayer effort, you need to put in some effort in understanding how things happen in the spirit. Understand the devil is there. Don't play around with him. He has departments, principalities, powers, rulers, mm. spiritual wickednesses. He is everywhere. And there are times that they operate. There are certain people who have written certain books mm. because they have had certain experiences. But let's not rely so much on experiences, mm. but rather on what the Bible says. But if God has revealed something mm -hmm. that has uh, become a reality, and some people have realized that when the midnight is completely a change of a day, okay. in fact, midnight is zero zero, two mm -hmm. double zeros. Mm -hmm. That one second, you know, whoever is awake can take, can, <laughs> can, can command the day, uh, the day as it were. Mm -hmm. It's fun to pray mm -hmm. when others are asleep. Mm -hmm. It's fun to pray when the whole earth is quiet and asleep mm. uh, because that's when the demonic world is active mm. trying to to arrange the following day mm. to plan the following day then when they are planning the following day mm. you are also awake you're also awake yeah planning. you know and praying mm -hmm. so understanding spiritual warfare and bringing it into your prayer mm. uh, is an added advantage mm -hmm. yeah but we also need to understand that uh different capacities absolutely different levels of engagement mm -hmm. and so, age and growth and maturity so i shouldn't adopt to your spiritual warfare calendar no 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 if no, i'm no. still growing no, in no, my no. in my spiritual stuff it's our responsibility as pastors to introduce believers to different types of prayer because there's a the simple prayer mm -hmm. time with god there's a one hour prayer and then when you begin to put in more hours and begin to put in levels uh then you add fasting mm -hmm. and when you add fasting then you also it's one meal two meals one day two days you can do as many as you can and begin to touch certain levels as it were then there is also the aspect to your prayer add faith it's very important add persistence mm -hmm. you know because you're gonna be opposed you're going mm -hmm. to feel sickly you're gonna be discouraged you're gonna feel it's too hard or it's taking too long before I get an answer. Mm -hmm. So you have to be persistent. There are several dimensions and dynamics to the prayer life as it were. Mm -hmm. But don't get scared. Just begin somewhere. Mm -hmm. Remember it's communicating with God. And when you talk to him, mm -hmm. allow him also to speak back to you. Mm -hmm. And that's important as it were. Wow. Thank you very much. And anyone that is joining us, I think this matter prayer needs a whole oh, yeah. session. It needs a whole itself. session. Because um, one of the things I've discovered in this season of COVID, we are slowly seeing guys turning back to prayer yeah and kenyans love to pray oh i love it and, and i want to believe if there is a guided way and mm -hmm. kind of teachings and yeah. also knowledge that is dispensed is good because yeah. um i think i was speaking to one of the authorities um in the ministry mm -hmm. and, and and she told me kenya has a nigerian dna uh -huh. so we are praying prayers of a different area, area. <laughs> and their devils are not our devils. You know, so, so it's an error. By it's the an way. error. It's so an there's error. a lot of uh, I declare, I scatter, I, I declare, fire, no, 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 no. I hire, with the and, and fire. which I know it's biblical, yeah. but I don't even think people understand well, the doing. origin yeah. and the and the ruling and the declaration that they are making. So I believe this is a topic we ought to handle because matters spiritual warfare. Yeah. Um, who can who can attend? uh what, what are the conditions and even what is spiritual warfare yeah because someone threw a theological question and said how many times will you bind the principalities in the city when the first <laughs> church came didn't, didn't they bind so, yeah. <laughs> so actually let me say two things yes. uh, because of what you're raising it's very <laughs> important we need a lot of time yeah. to discuss on this uh on matters decree declare blah blah listen first john 5 14 says and this is the confidence we have with him that is god that if we pray 
anything in accordance with his will mm -hmm. he hears us mm -hmm. so what we encourage believers to do is remember we say the first thing you do is to read the word study it and so forth mm -hmm. out of your reading the genesis 1 to 3 mm -hmm. you came across a beautiful verse and god made man chapter 2 verse 7 8 and breathed into him mm -hmm. and man became a living soul so so god breathing and uh, upon this man and you are meditating on it and you can see the drama there is a the, the the man made he can't move it's just a statue then god breathes how mm -hmm. did he breathe you know or did he go mouth to mouth mm. and, and so forth and you are meditating now it is out of that meditation you should come to pray mm -hmm. say father breathe on me by your holy spirit wow. and give me life mm. so simply believers don't mm -hmm. get distracted mm -hmm. just pray the word wow that's very very important mm. number two issue on uh, how do you buy the principality and what do you do with them? Let me, don't get very scared, believers. What you need to do is this. By your righteous living, mm -hmm. the principalities are sorted. Mm -hmm. Your righteous living, that is, you're walking with God, mm -hmm. you're walking in the world, mm -hmm. you're walking in obedience, you are doing the work of the ministry, mm -hmm. and you're walking holy and righteous before God. Mm -hmm. You have immunity. Wow. You are protected mm. that's very important there's the helmet of salvation mm. the breastplate of uh righteousness mm. the belt of truth mm. your feet are ready you have the shield of faith you have the sword of the spirit you are secure mm. but as you continue with god the mm. day you go to ground z mm -hmm. and find a power there mm. and prosperity mm. that's when now you marshal also your resources of faith mm. power the anointing the mm. blood of jesus the word of god mm. sword of the spirit plus back up of other brethren okay. and do whatever the spirit wants you to do mm. like making a powerful prayer and rebuking the devil i want you to hold it there apostle because you are preempting our next show okay. <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's a matter of interest um you know i really want us to look at that uh, on an independent topic yeah, yeah. because i believe uh there is the zeal and there is also the knowledge yeah. there are people who pray a lot but without this understanding and i want to believe as apostolic clinic even to the pastors yeah. it will help a lot and the leaders to yeah. understand all these levels of prayers mm. i read a book called uh, casualties of unnecessary warfare yeah, meaning know. that you threw children into mm. battle and now they are all suffering a certain thing yeah. so let's uh, we have two minutes yeah any other we've spoken about the word the word of god and we've spoken about prayer prayer and there's something that has been consistent Fellowship. discipline you've spoken about the discipline yeah, the discipline this Discipline of reading, discipline of prayer, yeah. and in two minutes, fellowship. Yeah. Fellowship is important for a believer to know. For us to continue with having God's life, we need one another. So you need fellowship of believers. And I know that's one of the things that has been interrupted mm. by this lockdown. Because you're alone, doing your stuff alone. But remember, through those social media platforms, Zoom, you know, there are many programs we can do online to be together and fellowship, mm. uh, calling and fellowship and talking, praying with others. It's important to keep in touch mm. with the believers. Don't stay alone at all. Okay. You need to keep sharing, fellowshiping and so forth. Preachers, mm. when two preachers meet, sometimes mm. you're discouraged and you just begin to share what God is doing, what's happening in your family. Mm -hmm. Encouragement begins to rise in your spirit mm -hmm. because we cannot do without each other. Mm. And that's what the enemy has been fighting. And we must fight to keep the fellowship of one another amen so in these trying times i think we have the the remedy number one make sure you're a student of the word i think amazing things yeah. have been shared the east word and the olive just yeah. download them this will help you study number two make sure that your prayer life your altar is not full of ashes yeah. make sure that your prayer life is consistent one thing has come out very clearly discipline mm -hmm. don't pray because you feel like mm -hmm. don't pray because uh, there are circumstances on issues pray because you ought to pray and number three keep the fellowship and i bless the lord for the opportunity of elevate tv mm -hmm. amazing worship keep on playing here you will never miss the preaching here mm -hmm. and we bless the lord for the gadgets you can Tune in on Facebook. Uh, you can go on YouTube. You're in a matatu. Take that time. Just put some earphones off. Listen to some message. Make sure that you are ever feeding the spirit man. And through that, you realize that your spirit man will be strong and will be able to endure. One final word, sir, as we, as we leave. <laughs> Listen, fellowship of believers, this is where we have opportunity to give, opportunity to learn from others opportunity to exercise our gifts like trying to prophesy and encourage somebody mm. an opportunity to be accountable because we all need fathers and mentors and people to be accountable so we are trusting god that this will not be forever 
But let's use the moment to strengthen our inner man mm. through the study. Call it like a retreat. If this lockdown is one month or two months or whatever period of time, let's call it a retreat mm. to strengthen ourselves because when we are coming back, we are going to see an awakening Amen. and a revival Amen. and a move of God. And I also believe this is a time to strengthen the fellowship in our houses. Amen. Time to pray with your husband, your mm -hmm. wife, and your children to read the Bible together. So we look like we are on the foundation of the early church. Absolutely. Or the, or the foundation of the Mosaic church before they left <laughs> Egypt. The fellowship was in the house. Yeah. So may God bless you and thank you very much. I want to assure you in the next show, we'll be talking about prayer and matters prayer. So God bless you. See you.